title of this writing is, Is Love Involved? I've come to a point in life that I hope all people arrive at. That is, to make decisions only after you ask yourself, Is Love Involved? Now, your version may be, Only do what I want to do, but for me, love has to be involved for me to commit. Yeah, there are many things that I have to do as part of my daily existence, but when it comes to decisions where I have options, love is my barometer. Does it spark joy is another question I ask. If the answer is no, then I won't go in that direction. Obligation has become part of my past, and I wish I had gotten past it a long time ago. Reminds me of a story. I remember many years ago when my wife's parents were visiting and they cut short their stay to attend a funeral back home, a thousand miles away. An acquaintance of theirs had died and they were wrestling with the option to stay or go. We hadn't seen them in quite a while and they were really enjoying their visit with us and the grandkids. I remember asking my father-in-law if he was close friends with the deceased. And he said uh, they went to the same church and had seen him and his wife a couple of times socially years ago. I then asked, why do you have to go? Because you're supposed to. That was his terse reply. I suppose what I'm suggesting is to consider putting supposed to in your rearview mirror and experience more joy in your life now. I'd love to tell you how to do it, but I don't know how. I only know if love isn't involved, it's like toiling in a field pushing a plow. Here's what I do know. You'll harvest more love and joy by giving I'm supposed to the heave-ho. All the best, John.